Hey guys, welcome to Mystical 33. My name is Ray. In this one here, we are going to be looking into Britney Spears, Jessica Bale, and Justin Timberlake. If you find yourself enjoying, please do me a favor. Hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you in advance to those of you who have. Britney Spears, Justin Bieber, and Jessica Bale. What could you tell us when it comes to Britney Spears? Justin Timberlake, and Jessica Bale. We'll move on to Tarot after these. We have, I wonder what will happen next. Forget who you are. And the last card is in reverse, which is such a curious dream. So our second card here, it, it, or first card, I'm sorry. It's the second card in the deck. It has number two on it. A longing for excitement. Wonder what is meant to take place. Someone who is <clears throat> comfortable but vaguely dissatisfied. Be ready for a challenge and for new experiences. Okay. It could be like the recent past. Our next card here forget who you are. You're discovering what can happen when you rely less on conditioning, memory, and civilization, and more on heart receptiv sorry, receptivity, oh my god, I can't talk, and nature, new friendship, connections, and gentleness, and joy will be yours. So it's almost like trying to take some sort of peaceful route here with what's been brought up at least that's what it looks like so far some sort of like civil mannerism our last card in reverse is wanting to hold on to an experience and not returning to the everyday wishing to live in wonderland in quotes rather than experiencing it and bringing its magic into your everyday world, becoming underground and disconnected, feeling drawn to fantasy, being susceptible to illusions. Wow. Some type of illusion needs to be based, it seems like, on somebody's end. Because they're holding on to what they have experienced. But they're not. They're hanging out in the past. In the memory land. In wonderland. Rather than being in the now. Enjoying what's here and now. So it's like <clears throat> they're all, all three of them. Because of what's been brought to surface. It, it creates a disconnect. But... They're living in the past about the situation at the moment rather than living in the now. Let me ask, please. <laughs> Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, and Jessica Bale. What could you tell us about these three? What is going on with them all together? Of course, starting off with a Ten of Wands, some sort of burden here. The Tower cards, destructive, Five of Pentacles. Being out in the cold can also be, I'm sensing a loss, is what I'm kind of downloading here. The Hermit Energy, Virgo. <sighs> Being shut out. And allowing it. Jessica... Mm. It looks like Jessica, because we have the Ace of Pentacles here. It looks like something might have been happening in the past with them. 
something that she might have been wondering was going on and that she just took this as an opportunity or a crossroad. That and or maybe she doesn't really know most of what's really there between the both of them, what had happened, like the actual truth. Like she wasn't there, basically. She was not the fly on the wall. So I'm sensing the two of swords as well with the blindfold sense and fogginess that she may not quite know everything that's what's been brought to the surface. She's just kind of taking in what she's been told, what she's collected. They think, or somebody thinks, that Britney Spears is moving ahead. A fire sign here. But it's definitely caused an issue. What could you tell us here about what's going on with Britney Spears and Justin Bieber? Justin Bieber. I'm sorry, I typically do Justin Bieber. Justin Timberlake, Jessica Bale. Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, and Jessica Bale. What is going on here? We're going to grab another deck and clarify some of this. We got an extra party here, and it looks like somebody that's on the cusp. This could also be... Ooh. We're going to clarify these. It could also be... Queen of Swords... Feminine energy, air sign. Being standoffish. We do have hermit mode and the five of pentacles. There is a cold shoulder because of this burden. I mean, it's destructive and it's caused this burst of energy of creating a cold shoulder. The queen of swords, feminine energy, fire, or air sign can also represent not only somebody is showing up as an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but also... Again, standoffish energy, going to bite your head off if you approach. Also, time to look further into something here. And if that is the case, we have our feminine energy earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. But she does also represent nurturing, nurturing something to grow into something beautiful, something fruitful for oneself, something worth of value. And whatever this king, or not king, this queen of swords and queen of pentacles is to whoever it is that's showing up, we'll clarify here in a moment. It's being held on tight to, but secretly. There's like some sort of secret action here. Could you clarify the queen of swords and... The Queen of Pentacles, please. Could you clarify this Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles? Libra energy. My God. Even with the temperance. Somebody is trying to balance things out. Could be all of them. Balancing the situation now has caused change for everybody. It's almost like it shoved, shoved them into something new. It's showing up that somebody's loving this. <sighs> 
King of Pentacles kind of energy. Justin Timberlake wants to move forward from it. It's interesting that we have the High Priestess. Probably something that was kept from the homestead. Something that was hidden from the surface. Something that was kept below the surface. It's something that he's learned about marriage, commitment, dedication. When it comes to home, close connection as such. He's overflowing his cup on trying to figure out the right route to go to try to move ahead to something better here, but it looks like whatever route he goes, he's feeling depressed. He's feeling blocked from moving ahead. Where he wishes to go, what he wants, what he desires, but it creates massive heartache and pain. It looks like he really did enjoy being with Jessica because we have the Empress here can also at the same time be something that's a large project and examining it to overcome this depressing wall here of information that had came in. Information from the past has been walked away, walked away from. And now trying to manifest healing and transition. Investigating, trying to look further into how to proceed into Transitioning the situation here. The ability to see past this. See through it. See it differently. But in solitude, all I can think about is how it's now a bound burden. It looks as though Justin was very happy when it came to Jessica. Now, I'm not saying he was perfect. My personal, my personal, personal opinion about Justin Timberlake is I don't like him. <laughs> okay, I think he's a dog. I do. So I'm certainly not saying he's perfect. Certainly not saying it. But knowing celebrities, there are some that they like to have as public view. Or even as so, she has some sort of, if you would want to say, has some sort of heart part of his heart because it's depressing he wants to move forward I personally had always assumed that he was somebody who is self-absorbed somebody who is basically thought of himself that was me that's, that's just me my opinion the vibe that I always got off of him and I grew up watched like the whole Backstreet Boys and NSYNC I was not an NSYNC fan, but if I had to choose, it would have been Chris through NSYNC. <laughs> Just because he seemed as though he was like the most genuine, in my opinion. But it seems like Jessica is certainly hurt from this. Britney Spears is making money off of it, obviously. She's just going on with her life, doing what she's doing. But. Justin Timberlake wants to move forward from this somehow, some way. It's almost like he's slight. I could see him slightly wanting to repair things with Jessica, but that might be out of the question. And that could be what's creating also depression and or even immense sadness and being able to move forward from this situation now that's been brought up so it might be impossible to repair it you might have to just let it go and just release all everything that's connected to it for in order to heal and move forward so this is where i'm going to leave this off at if you did find yourself enjoying, please do me a favor, hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you in advance to those of you who have or do. Until next time, my friends, I'll see you to Zane. Goodbye.